I hear I hear ESAM in the back of my head saying, SDI, SDI. And I'm like, ESAM, why? Oh well. No faith. I like this player can we have right now. Yeah, I like it. I liked it more than um, the um, commentator cam that that's right over here on our stream setup right here. I don't know, do, do the stream people, see, the people watching the stream see commentator cam at all? Yeah, they're seeing it right they're now. They're seeing it right now? Oh, wow, hello. Yeah, they can see us. Don't worry, <laughs> you can see a beautiful face. Oh, my, yeah, of course. Oh, you're worried about that. Anyways. Me, me and my face. You can see me looking at my phone the whole time and not actually paying attention. <laughs> all right. Looks like they're going to Smashville. Um, oh, oh, Town, Town City. City. Bad. Ooh, this should be really good for Bayo. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how much Villager gets off of Town City. He doesn't really kill off the top too often. He doesn't kill off the top, but I, I mean, while he, the top, of the ceiling is low. Generally, the, the blast zones are just small oh, in Town City, even though it's a big stage. That's always scary, just being pulled off the side there. Yeah, I know. Every time that happens to me, it looks like my heart drops just a little bit. And up top. Oh, he gets good. Pet Pika says SDI. bowling ball in this first stock. And Luis dying at 73. Wow, no faith in his in his crew member, Pet Pika. And gets the kill off oh, the top. Oh, wow, he gets the kill off the top. And oh, the and top. the taunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that just proof of the history between That's, them? I like, I like to think that that taunt was for Pet Pika, for not believing in him. Oh, what? Oh, goes, goes for the go, hard read. Goes for the hard read. I don't even know if that would have killed right then. No, I mean, not. I don't know. It's Villager's forward smash is ridiculously strong. Oh, zero rage and Mayo at 50 something percent. Nah. The witch sign is dodging the ground. Little Wolf playing extremely patient. Using oh, that witch man. time to its fullest as well. Also, side B just like going for grabs, but on the side. If you ever talk to, um, oh, that's unfortunate. He misses the ledge. Irk here says, "Is that pink fresh?" And then uh, little wolf SDs. So I'm just gonna say, yeah. <laughs> this is Xanadu, everybody. Little Wolf is so good at getting those up B's just out of shield. Oh yeah, just waits for it. I guess so. He must he must play with tap tap jump off. I mean on because you can't really properly up B out of shield, right? Unless you have tap jump on. How do you do it? You just slide your your hand like that. Really? Well, I have it's, I have my R button set to jump when I do it. So. Oh okay, so you need the R. So I, don't I guess know if they, I don't know if you can without it. You probably can. Oh, is this off the top? Oh, no. Good SDI. Yeah, he, the SDI, I don't know. There, you see, ESAM was just like, SDI, right there. It's the ESAM SDI. You can like, SDI out of some of these back. things. Giving up a lot of stage control, though. Yeah. Uh, side B definitely has an upward battle to... Up, uphill battle here. But he's just, like, spacing him out. Keeps going for grabs when Little Wolf isn't around. I don't really, I don't really agree with that. If you talk to Ant like about Villager's grab. He'll show you a little um, to be continued meme that he made, where Villager whiffs a grab and like a, he, and then like a Captain Falcon's about to hit him with a forward smash and then stops right before the forward smash is released. Little Wolf it's, reading it's the get-up attack, but doesn't get it. It's just... Oh, wow. This, I mean, this is really... Like, Side B is bringing this all the way back. Like, How much Little Wolf just bears recovery to do bowling ball? Um, I imagine it can be. Oh, was that a tech? That's that a was a great tech. That was a beautiful tech. That Because that would have killed him. Yeah. That would have been death right there. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well... Back to neutral game. Yeah, it's just like whoever gets the first read, because like right now, uh, side B probably has enough rage that he could kill with like an up air or a down air, or, I mean, or a down air. Or if he sweet spots even his fair bear, like it's just... They're You're both... Seeing side B to neutral get up a lot. Oh, but that's it. That's oh, going to All right. So... Yeah, that tech. That tech though, exactly. It's amazing. That tech. That was very impressive. 
But of course, Little Wolf did die to an SD. So uh, Too Quick is just like framed in the background. Yeah, Too Quick is just perfectly framed in the background. Everyone can see him and his his lovely face and his gauges and his piercings. I'm wondering what stage. Pepika says, Luis proving me uh, wrong by not side being. Yeah, side being. It's, yeah, it's like side being. I'm like, what? Yeah, side being, of course. Side being and side B. I play this game. <laughs> All right, we got all our slow friends in the chat rooting for rooting for Little Wolf. I, us being native SB players, we don't really care who wins because it's Santa, it's Santa Barbara versus Santa Maria. I mean, we care. It depends on who we want to fight later. Are they going to Wrecking Crew? They're going to Wrecking Crew. Okay. You know, I like this matchup. Uh, I like the stage counterpick for side B. High, high ceiling. Um, all right. I wonder what stage you're trying to go back to Smashville, maybe, or go to Smashville. Okay. I don't know what counter pick he wanted. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess. Yeah. He, oh, okay. Oh, he wants Dreamland. Dreamland. Okay. All right. I feel like this would be um, a good option for Villager. I feel like Villager yeah, likes the stage. It still has a fairly low ceiling. I mean, its ceiling isn't actually any lower than Final D, but as platforms. So that means that it's going to seem lower. And I mean, plus, Bayo doesn't really utilize platforms that much. If you're like yeah, combos. but if, if Bayo gets something started on a platform, oh, yeah. that could be really bad for Villager. But these days, Villager, um, I mean, I usually say that these days, Bayo kills more off the sides than off the top, like she did pre patch, but Little Wolf seems to really like killing off the top. At least. At least against side B here. And in game one at least. Yeah, in game one. And in the other friendlies that I've seen him. So, he definitely likes doing that. Yeah, I just... Unless, unless Little Wolf banned Battlefield, I don't know what Little Wolf's ban would be. I would Battlefield would be a solid pick, I think. I agree. Then maybe he just went here because he couldn't go to Battlefield. Oh, right idea, but the execution just wasn't there with that up smash. I mean, it's so funny how RNG. a lot of Bayos love to just go for the witch time on the Lloyd Rocket. If it's close enough, it'll catch, it'll catch the opponent on witch time, which is pretty crazy. It is. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, that was beautiful. Great back air to edge guard. Just turn that situation around. I guess I guess he was in the lead. <laughs> oh. I thought he was going to get for a second there. Yeah, that was a little scary. Oh, oh. nice. Just a snipe. And oh, that drop lead. down. Oh, that's scary. Like, Bayonetta does it all the time. It's so crazy. Oh, no, that. Oh. Okay, beautiful by Little Wolf. All right, only 3% taken. Yeah, so that and very much anybody's game. One thing about Little Wolf using these witch times on the Lloyd Rocket, like he uses a lot, and I mean he's not getting anything off of it because villagers are close enough, but he is losing something because the more you use witch time, the less time they will be witch time when you do get it hit and when you do hit it, you know? True. So, I mean, I guess... He's not trying to not get stuff off of it, so I just think that. So, I don't know. That's a funny exchange there, side B being just above the bullets. <laughs> with Lloyd Rocket. Oh, oh this, this could be really bad, but you oh. see it was very short because he'd been using it a lot. You see again, like very short. So I think he's using it a little too much. I mean, he's using it smartly. Like every time that he uses it, he, it's because it's, there's an attack interacting with it. Accidental footstool there. Yeah, yeah. Um, That'd be cool if that was on purpose to get a follow up out of it. Oh, yeah. Footstools are always hype. And I, I don't know what footstool tech these characters have, especially since vill footstools often require like a spike move too, like to continue them. Oh, beautiful read by uh, Side B. Taking game two. Going into game three. Yeah, so final game. This is the last game. This could be the last game for either one of these players. Well, it's sad to see them in losers bracket having to face yeah, off. Yeah, I know they're so good. You wouldn't you wouldn't think either of these players would be in losers so early. Anyway. 
Anyway. But, um, so Luis considering the counter pick. Luis has the counter pick switch, so he's got the advantage there, and he goes to uh, Lilat. Lilat. All right. I don't disagree with this choice. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Bayo's always like Lilat because the tilt can really help with the guns in the neutral game. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The guns travel right up it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. my goodness, the nares off stage is crazy. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, I don't know how much these characters have in terms of footstool stuff, mainly because Bayonetta's down air is kind of weird because it forces him down, and then side B, his down air is also RNG. But, you know, they both have some light hits. Like, Villager definitely does with Nair. Like, I bet that's a combo extender. All right. So, side B didn't punish that shield though. You think you would have got the grab or something out of it? I think side B, yeah, I, I think side B's wised up and hasn't been using grabs as much just because he doesn't want to get punished. And he's got a lead, so it's not like he needs to overextend himself right now. Right when I say that, he just grabs when Little Wolf is nowhere near him. Um, but yeah, for I mean, I think side B's just trying to play some keep away. Like, run, like, avoid be getting up close and getting into Bayonetta's combos, just using his oh, aerial. Oh, exactly. but there's the that's witch it. time. See, the moment he goes in, like, that's the moment Little Wolf gets that punish that he needs. Yeah, it was a good like, job. Well, Little Wolf this time, too, saving it instead of using the projectiles exactly. on his side. I think he noticed last game how he didn't get anything out of it. I think, yeah. The, the problem is, like, while um, Villager has a really good projectile game, a really good keep away game, that doesn't help when he needs to get a kill. Like, when he needs to get a kill, he needs to get closer to the opponent. So We're going to back it up stage. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, I agree, though. It's mostly Gimps, I feel like, Villager. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a good read up tilt or bowling game. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice, nice axe. Seems that which time I did. Chop those heels down, huh? <laughs> All right. All right. So, Sidey doesn't have too much ground to make up. Only 20%. The little Wolf definitely waiting for him to approach, side B to approach. Oh, but then he just decided to approach. I think it's weird. He approached with side B. Yeah. I think it's weird that um, when Baina side B is on the ground, because it looks like there's a trail of blood behind her. Oh, there's the witch time. Oh. It shouldn't be it yet. I hope not. Not, well, yeah, not probably quite yet. not yet. Uh, he uh, he might have been able to extend that combo since he landed. He might have been able to get another up B. He did rack up a good amount of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Now side B really has to go in. That doesn't seem like it's a very good... Oh, is this it? Oh, this might be it. Oh, that, oh just great some, DI yeah, from some side great B. Great DI by side B, but this does not look good. It's a forward throw. It's not going to not gonna take it quite yet. It's funny, too, how the tilt affects so many of those throws as well, how really they're going to kill. Mm -hmm. Just changes so many factors at once. Yeah, exactly. All right, little just hanging back. Slow players holding out for their boy back, uh, Luis. The side B needs to be careful to try to rack up that damage. Oh, yes. one mix grab. Oh, yeah. that shit. Not quite. Not quite. I was worried that would extend his hitbox using that side B way out there. Oh, he misses the tech. Misses the tech, but lives. Oh, going for those down smashes. Side B a little, a little bit too smart. He's not going to get hit by it. Right, one thing I like is even though side B's at this high percent, it's not just like a lot of players will start spamming roll. They'll start like oh, this like, that's that's it. Mm. Well, they shake fun. hands before the game even ends. You just All right. know. Yeah, you just when you get hit by a witch time, you know you know it's over. Anyway, well that was a good set. Yeah, great um, game to both players. Yeah, side B still had an excellent comeback in game two. Like, that was beautiful. Yo. Okay, uh, it looks like I have to go and play a uh, match. All right. But it was nice commentating with you, buddy. All 